Hello everyone, this is I Review the Gods, we review any and everything. Today we are reviewing Dr. Prager's Pure Plant Protein Sunday Funday Veggie Sausages. These have uh, 18 grams of pure plant protein. They're gluten free. And it, they pretty much taste just like a, a sausage. They even look like one. They actually look like that when you make them. They really do look exactly like that. When you make them, they have the the sausage seasonings in it to give it that flavor. It's made with, let's see, you see the avocado, avocado oil right there. Three different type of veggies and soy free as a man. You need to make sure that you're not going to be 100% soy free because soy is in everything. That you make sure that you don't eat a lot of soy. I tried to stay away from it altogether, but yeah, that's not going to work. Because like I'd say, you just don't know. They sneak it in some of your oils. They just say oil blend. And one of the oils will be soy. And when you go out to eat, you don't know what they're using to cook or just what ingredient they have put inside of it so yeah you're you're going to eat soy no matter what this is why you must watch it when you get regular stuff too because it's in everything men aren't supposed to eat soy especially non-organic soy it really produces estrogen in our bodies as a man we don't need that this is one of the reasons why we have the lowest testosterone count in history we have, you know, some of our men have testosterone counts of children. One of the reasons is because of the soy issue. Soy, 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 soy. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna let you look at the pretty birdies as I read this. So, it's hydrated pea protein, water, peas, avocado oil, sweet potato puree, butternut squash puree, carrot puree, methanol, cellulose, Fruit juice, extract, old fiber, natural flavor, sea salt, yeast, black pepper, sage, fennel, onion powder, garlic powder. So, of course, it's made in a factory that uses wheat, soy, and eggs, and fish. You know, it's just, and of course, when you make stuff, some of the particles get there. But a lot of these companies, they do do a good job of keeping certain parts of their warehouse clean that makes this and that but i don't know i mean because it's processed in pretty much the same places so you hopefully that everybody will do this but i can't tell you so there's going to be traces of it because if you ever worked on anything and that's manual because you you understand that these factories are machines that they're mechanical you know that type of issue there's dust and particles that come from a lot of this so they will get in the air and they will get on other stuff it's the same thing this is why when you cook you smell like what you cook with for a while but yeah these are really really good i forgot how much they cost i need to start like keeping the receipts with me because i throw them away i'm just trying to keep you know everything clean but I think they were like three to four dollars or something like that. Mm, it comes with five of them, which is a weird number. It should be six. But I really enjoy these. These are highly recommended. And considering that the price of meat is going up. I don't even know how much sausage even costs because I really eat sausage. I just bought these to try them. Just as something new. No, I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian, but I do like vegetables and I love trying new things. And I really am trying to not eat a lot of meat. Not because I want to be a vegetarian or anything. No, it's just because of the fact our meat is full of antibiotics, steroids, and all sorts of other things. I just... Most of our food is bad for us. This is why we're getting cancer. And we're catching all of these conditions and diseases. 
and younger and younger ages. This is why they say, was it like 10 years from now, 50% of the population will have cancer. The only reason, you know, one of the reasons, you know, I don't say the only, one of the main reasons you will get cancer is because of your food. You know, what is, what's the name of that company? It's not even coming to me right now. You know, Monsanto owns it. Roundup. You know, they're spraying all this food and it's wind up in your food. And you eat it and it sits in there and it destroys your insides. It destroys your good bacteria and replaces it with bad. And you know what happens when that does it. And they're finding, was it phosphorus in the, you know, Roundup basically in all of these foods and everything. Because they're just constantly spraying them all day, every day. There's no way that they're going to get rid of the Roundup off of all of the food. So this is the situation that we're in. We have to find healthy alternatives and considering what is going on in the world today, you definitely need to do that. And it's non-GMO product certified, like USDA, but I mean, hey, that's what that is. So I highly recommend these. They actually taste like sausages and they actually look like this package later.